Right here, we have Juan Soto doing some weird drills. So what we're gonna do is we're going to watch this video where he talks about his drills and then after I'm gonna give my analysis. So watch until the end because you're going to wanna watch this because of the things I'm gonna say. And also, if you do watch until the end, I'm gonna give you a gift that's gonna help you to be a better hitter. So with that being said, let's get it. All right, run through this, Rich, because there, there's a drill you do and it's been chronicled a little bit like I said with Kevin Long, where I have to know why. Everybody has their routine, why they go in the <laughs> cage and what they, what, what? Back that up, back that <laughs> up, because I want people to see this has to roll through. You got the, 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 the harness, the harness. Yeah. It's pulling you back right here? Yeah, pulling me back. Uh, I try to, right now, that's that's what happens. I, I, I'm, Going a little bit. You're actually back. hitting the ball with the knob of your bat. Yeah. What What's the reasoning for that drill? Uh, the first time I did, uh, my hitting coach he told me I tried to hit the ball with the knob because he want he want me go from here to here, so get on top of the ball every time because I was the most Collapsing of the time backside backside coming down and a lot of pop ups. So. It tries to make me go on top of the ball. So when I come here, then the barrel comes after that. And get through on that. So get the most of the time is get on top of the ball. That's you do fun. that drill every day? Yeah. And the harness? Uh, right now, yeah, we're doing it every day. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm former Major League Baseball player Jermaine Curtis, and Juan Soto has some weird drills that he does in this video. And at first, when I seen this video, I was like, where should I go with this video? And here's where I'm going to go with it. You need to know what you do well. You need to know what makes you feel what you need to feel so you can be successful. Nobody's the same when it comes to a baseball player. The drills that Juan Soto does would not work for me, but the drills I do may not work work for you but you should still at least try it and find out what works for you because if you're closed-minded and think that okay i'm just not going to try that then you're not going to advance in this game so try these different drills out and understand what works for you the feelings that you need to feel so you can get success this knob down to the ball for me i would pound balls right into the ground but it works for juan soto the holding the thing back that was not my issue so you know i didn't need to do that but i would still try it just to see what is he feeling what he's trying to do and that's another thing if, if you're around a player that's really successful or let's say you're in high school and there's a senior there and watch what he does watch his process watch his practice and then ask him questions ask him like hey why are you doing that when i was in spring training with the st louis cardinals i used to show up early just to watch albert pujols hitting the cage i wanted to know what he was doing i wanted to see what he was doing Doing. When I was with the Cincinnati Reds, I used to watch Joey Votto. Joey Votto used to go by himself and hit in the cage. And I would show up every morning because I knew what time he would hit. And I'd just sit there and watch him. And every day, I would just admire, okay, what is he doing? What is he trying to do? And I would ask him questions. And then we end up talking a lot about hitting just because I would just watch him. And he always said to me, he was like, I don't understand why more players like you wouldn't come in and watch. He goes, if he could, he would sit and watch Mike Trout's BP and watch what he's doing in the cage or watch what Bryce Harper was doing. He would go and do that because that's the way to learn. So you want to be open because that's what's going to allow you to create the drills and do the drills that makes you successful. If you're closed minded, it just won't work. And some of these drills, like I said, won't work for you, but at least try it so that you can understand and be open to the, the things that coaches are saying to you. Try it try it and then from there you realize okay this doesn't work for me and maybe there's a little bit inside of what they're showing you that does work for you i know that i am the hitter that i turned out to be was uh, uh, compiled from a lot of coaches information and i just turn the knobs turn the knobs just keep turning the knobs just trying to figure out what works best for me and then boom i found it and then when you find it you just run with it you just run with it because then you're going to be confident you're like I figured it out. And that's the same thing you've seen in this video with Juan Soto, or if you've seen um, the full video, which I'll put it in the description below so you can go and watch it. But if you watch that whole thing, he talks about when he was 
face and the lefty and it just clicked it clicked and then he was like oh i understand and when he found what he was trying to find that's when his game elevated that's what you need to do as a hitter you need to figure out what works for you but you might have to try some of these weird drills that juan soto was doing or you know your friend that's on your travel ball team or your high school team or that coach that is across town that he does hitting lessons and guys are getting success from and he's doing you know this weird philosophy you might want to try it out and then see how that goes if it works for you then you keep doing it. if it doesn't you try it out and now you understand that doesn't work for me and you need to understand what works for you and the things that don't work for you so you can get the success that you're trying to get especially if you want to play in college especially if you want to play professionally you need to understand what works for you because at the end of the day it's all about you being successful because no one's going to be able to be in that batter's box with you holding your hand when i got to where i've gotten to i had to learn i had to learn what worked oh i like balls up in the zone all right so i'm gonna force pitchers to throw the ball up in the zone i like using the pitching machine most people don't like using it i know at the pro level guys will run away from the pitching machine like it's a attack them or something you know the players run away from the pitching machine but i love the pitching machine they call me a machine killer because all i did was just hit off the machine and i like to hit fastball sliders curves i like to feel like i was close to the game because the pitching machine is the closest you're going to get to the game so i wanted to feel like i was giving myself the best chance to be successful but that's me what about you what things do you like to do i want to know I want you to comment below. Let me know what drills you like doing. Do you like this Juan Soto drill? Have you tried it where you're taking the knob down to the ball? Do you like that band holding you back so you can feel more on your backside and you're not jumping forward? I want to know what works best for you and what drills that you consider weird that other people don't want to do that helps you. And if you watch into the end, that lets me know that you're serious. So with that being said, I want to give you the hitter's log. And this helped me to be the player I am. So with the hitter's log, is is a hitter's journal and what you're going to do is jot down your thoughts your approach your bats the pitches you've seen the drills you use you're going to jot all that down and after you have a good sample size good data size you're going to be able to look back and say oh these are the things i do well these are the drills i was doing when i was successful and you're going to be able to you know track everything so you can get results it's something i highly recommend especially for young players because you get to know who you are because that's the key you're the one in the batter's box swinging that bat so you need to know what you do well the hitter's log will help you with that so i want to give this to you for free all you have to do is just pay shipping so if you're interested link will be in the description below we have limited amount of copies so hurry up and get yours before it's too late again i'm gonna give it to you for free just pay the shipping if you enjoyed this hit that like button subscribe to the channel and thank you guys for your time and i'll see you in the next video